uh, and, and thank you, Mr. Secretary, for being here. You've answered most of my questions. I first want to associate myself with the remarks of one of our former chairman, Mr. Young. Uh -huh. And I wondered if he had stolen some of my notes when he spoke. <laughs> There is a question that I have not heard the answer to yet, and that is the issue uh, of the agency's formula grant program and whether or not you intend to use the current census data to make these determinations. And I'm hoping that in the recent iteration of Grow America that this issue will be given some attention. And I say that because I'm one of the, from one of the fastest growing areas in the country. Uh, which is in the North Texas area of, Dallas, of, of Texas. And we've learned to build up rather than just out, so we have large numbers living in high rises that have to get to work. And uh, we're really concerned about the fair distribution based upon s current census data. Uh, can you address that a little bit for me? Uh, it's a very good question. And um, I don't know that in Grow America we necessarily change the formula itself. What we do do by virtue of creating more funding is we create more opportunities for communities to get the resources they need to do innovative transformative projects. Uh, certainly in, in your district and in, in Dallas, they've done some remarkable things, uh, whether it's with transit or highways or what have you. And uh, that's why the Grow America Act, for example, would expand the TIGER program to an annual $1.2 billion program to provide that flexibility. That's why we, uh, as I said before, create a large freight program to help us address needs that are happening across the country. That's why um, we expand uh, TIFIA and some of the other tools that we have in place because we frankly need to create more flexibility. There's another area that we also do in this bill which is and this comes directly from my experience as a mayor, which is that uh, you know, when you're a mayor and you see these dollars coming into a state, uh, you sort of watch them bounce around like a, like a, a ball in a, in a, uh, um, in a, in a ping pong. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, ju uh, I can't mm -hmm. think of what, that, what I'm talking yeah. about. But you know what I'm, a pinball machine. That's what I was thinking. You see, watch the ball go around. Um, and then you see what, what lands in your community, and it's usually a very small fraction of what came in in the first place. So one of the things we do is we create a, a program called FAST that focuses on local transportation projects and rewards communities that look regionally at transportation projects that are going to impact their ability to grow jobs and create better economies. Um, so we create multiple ways for communities to get the flexibility you're, you're talking about, but I'll go back to my team and, and, and uh, ask the question again as to whether we change the formula itself. Well, thank you very much, and thank you for coming yeah. uh, to uh, my most gorgeous area in the country uh, when you made your tour last year. And, and thank you, Mr. Chairman. We have a great committee with great leadership, and I hope that we will come to some real good recommendations was very soon to address the issue. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank the gentlelady. And with that, Mr. Ribbles, recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Sec